Catholic Mass readings. St. Lawrence Justinian, Bishop, Confessor, the 5th of September, 2017, included in this video are the Epistle and the Gospel readings for today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Today is the feast day of St. Lawrence Justinian, Bishop and Confessor. St. Lawrence Justinian, born in Venice in 1381, of the illustrious family of Justiniani, which includes several saints, renounced the prospect of a noble marriage, and entered the monastery of the canons regular of St. Augustine on the island of Alga near Venice. The piety of his mother sowed the seeds of a devout religious life in the boy's youth. He practiced great austerity and assiduous prayer and had the most ardent love for God and his neighbor. He was chosen by Pope Eugenius IV to be the first patriarch of Venice. All his revenues were spent on the poor and the building of new monasteries. God made it known that the safety of the glorious Venetian state was due, not to the diplomatic skill of her doges or her formidable galleys, but to the holiness and merits of her bishop. He was a true forerunner of the ecclesiastical reform later carried out by the Council of Trent. He died on January 8, 1456, a model of humility and pastoral zeal. Pope Innocent XII fixed his feast on this day, the anniversary of his Episcopal consecration. The lesson taken from the Book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 44, verses 16 to 27, and chapter 45, verses 3 to 20. Behold a great priest, who in his days pleased God, and was found just, and in the time of wrath he was made a reconciliation. There was not any found like to him, who kept the law of the Most High. Therefore by an oath the Lord made him increase among his people. He gave him the blessing of all nations, and confirmed his covenant upon his head. He acknowledged him in his blessings, he preserved for him his mercy, and he found grace before the eyes of the Lord. He glorified him in the sight of kings, and gave him a crown of glory. He made an everlasting covenant with him, and gave him a great priesthood, and made him blessed in glory, to execute the office of the priesthood, and to have praise in his name, and to offer him worthy incense for an odor of sweetness. Response. Thanks be to God. All rise or stand for the Holy Gospel. The Holy Gospel taken according to St. Matthew, chapter 25, verses 14 to 23. Response. Glory be to thee, O Lord. At that time, Jesus spoke this parable to his disciples, a man going into a far country called his servants, and delivered to them his goods. And to one he gave five talents, and to another two, and to another one, to every one according to his proper ability, and immediately he took his journey. And he that had received the five talents went his way, and traded with the same, and gained other five, and in like manner he that had received the two, gained other two, but he that had received the one, going his way, digged into the earth and hid his Lord's money. But after a long time, the Lord of those servants came and reckoned with them. And he that had received the five talents, coming, brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou didst deliver to me five talents. Behold, I have gained other five over and above. His Lord said to him, Well done good and faithful servant, because thou hast been faithful over a few things, I will place thee over many things, enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. And he also that had received the two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliveredst two talents to me, behold I have gained other two. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant, because thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will place thee over many things, enter thou into the joy of the Lord. Thus are the words of the sacred scripture. Response. 
Praise be to thee, O Christ. All rise or stand for the last gospel. The beginning of the holy gospel according to St. John. Glory be to thee, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was made nothing that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men, and the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. This man came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not the light, but was to bear witness of the light. That was the true light, which enlighteneth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, to them that believe in his name, who were born, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. All genuflect or kneel. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. All rise or stand. And we saw his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Response. Thanks be to God.